Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my Watts Sold for last week which will be Monday through Thursday, March 4th through the 7th. It was an okay few days. We went on the Peaches to Beaches vacation. Wednesday morning we left um, and just kind of took our time getting down there, hit some thrifts and stuff, picked up Tim and Jerry, the tea and pickers. And so I had put my store on extended time. I don't do time away because I still want to be able to send offers. Usually list, usually end and sell similar, but I didn't. I was just having too much time, fun. Very exhausting. Just, you know, the walking and the shopping and the walking and then I didn't and my sales plummeted. Plummeted. I did keep sending out offers but I didn't list, which I tell you guys, the things that you need to do to keep your store active and the algorithm happy is list, end and sell similar, send offers, um, run sales. I did all of that, but I think just the not listing, I think truly, truly affected me. And, you know, it's okay. It's okay. But, you know, you got to be ready for sometimes your your store to take a hit and it took almost till like two days ago to kind of get back hopefully fingers crossed back to what it was like before we went on vacation so but I do have some good sales to share with you um but yeah we're gonna probably put out some videos in the picking channel um about the, the peaches to beaches yeah. overall it was okay it was okay. A lot of tent cities, um, which that just means dealers, flea marketers. Um, and we stopped at some, but a lot of it was overpriced, dirty, and a lot of it was junk, junk. But I did find some stuff, but really not a whole lot. It was more just about getting away and having time with our friends and, um, just, you know, taking a break, taking a break. I, I was ready for that. So, um, but we'll put out some of that. We'll do a video, of course, a haul video on the stuff that we picked up that weekend. It's still in the truck. I haven't gotten it out yet, but I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm not sure which one's the next one. I really want to do the Highway 127 sale. We didn't last year because we chose to go to FlipCon. So this year, I think I want to go there and I think I'm going to, you know, go for, you know, four or five or six days. Um, and I need to start plotting out some of these cells. I'd like to go to more of them this year than we have before. And, you know, just also vacation and sightsee because, you know, I, that's always been my goal is to be able to travel all over the country and do eBay and do the YouTube stuff. And hopefully this year we'll get to do a little bit more. All right. Let's go ahead and get to this. I've actually already shared this with you guys. It sold the week before, but I had a case opened up on it. I guess it wasn't in the condition that they were expecting. They were saying that the mane and the tail were cut. I didn't notice that. They are short, um, but it's a vintage plush and you know, you got to take that into consideration. My point being is I responded to the case on Poshmark I said, you know, I have pictures of the plush from all angles. They had to have known exactly what they were getting. And I won the case. I wish it was more like that on eBay. I really do. I won the case. I got paid. And that's the end of it. So, you know, I wish, you know, it was like this on eBay. So if you ever have a case opened up on you on Poshmark, just make sure you respond because... Poshmark's the one going to determine um, based on your response, the buyer's issue. Um, but again, take pictures, lots of pictures. And then I sold just this one item. I had put Poshmark and Mercari on vacation. So this had sold right before we left. These are Prana women's leggings and they sold for $22. Nothing on Mercari. All right. And then eBay. If you're new to my channel, I do not do free, 
free shipping. So when I say something sold for $10.95, the buyer also paid for shipping. And this is a viewer sale. So thank you so much, Robin. Robin bought this standing ram vase. She was going to put, um, I forgot the word, Robert. She was going to use it as, as a planter. It is a planter. Um, and so I appreciate it, Robin. Robin is also in my Discord. Um, we do have a Discord where we just, um, it's kind of like a chat room. That's the best way I can ex explain it. But, you know, we do at least a monthly Zoom call and we just kind of share everything throughout the day. So if you're interested in that, it's like $5 a month and it supports our channel. So thank you. And thanks again, Robin. All right, Manhattan Toy Brown Dog sold for $9.86. A lot of bread and butter. I love the comments in one of my recent videos where, you know, I explained about my theory on um, bread and butter. And I think it's it's clicking with some viewers that, you know, it's easier to find the bread and butter stuff. Yeah, I really, really love finding the high dollar stuff. In fact, I just sold a $90 plush on Mercari. Mercari, y'all. But, you know, these pay our bills. The bread and butter. Fisher Price Geo Tracks. We picked up a bunch of these at the bins. Um, the tracks, the trains, the vehicles. Some of the big buildings, if they're going to fit like in a priority box, um, but not any of the big systems. And then I just sell them as replacement. This was just a remote control. The way that I use to test them is um, point it in, into my um, phone camera and you should see a red light and that tells you that it is working and it sold for $7. Russ Home Buddies. This is the mouse. I have mine up there on the cash register. This one, um, again, I'm pretty sure it's a Ben's pickup. Oh no, it's not. It was at one of the estate sales we went to recently. And, you know, I show picking it up, I'm pretty sure, in the video. Um, I want to say I paid a couple of bucks for it. And it sold very quickly for $30. Hug Fun. Not a brand I pick up a whole lot. But it's kind of comparable in condition and quality as um, Kelly Toy. I'd like picking up these plush that are like, shape or look like a sports thing and then they have rabbit ears nine dollars and 86 cents but it did take a long time to sell jelly cat bartholomew now there is a large they they call it a giant bartholomew um that i saw sold comps for that were way over 500 i want to say close to 800 dollars. this is not it i wish this was it this was just an 11 inch one um had a little bit of condition issues, like the fur on its face. Um, sold very quickly, though, for $17.95. G.I. Joe Cobra Terradrome picked up a the whole thing. It was missing some pieces, but what I did was I parted out a lot of the spare parts to it. I'm down to, I don't know if I have anything left. I still have the main base because it's huge. It's like huge. But I think I'm going to list it at some point. It just needs to get finished getting cleaned up. Um, these were just the gel door and it sold for $16.16. .16. Eden Pink Doll. When you see a number two at the end of my um, title, it means I probably had another one listed at that time. So I just used the number two because the description is going to be identical and I just kind of a way to show eBay that, eBay that it's not a duplicate listing because they very much frown on duplicate listings. Um, so I've picked up a couple of these though this past year and this one sold for $26.95 but it's like the sleeping doll. Animal Adventure Purple Rabbit. Sometimes these rabbit plush, Animal Adventure plush sell for quite a bit. This one was from 2015. I tend to do better with some of that older ones. The rest of them are going to be bread and butter. But this Purple Rabbit sold for $26.95. K. 
Cabbage Patch sneakers, doll sneakers. I lost one of them. So one sat on the edge of a shelf forever. And I finally found it when I was going through some of my profit piles. It had fallen down and under a shelf and listed it. I pretty sure it sold the same day that I listed it um, for $21.25. Another handmade baby doll dress um, had the little cute dress and the panties sold for $12.10. Again, this is just profit pile stuff that I have been sorting through and getting listed. Lego Duplo Spider-Man parts. It was a, a Venom Spider-Man and a motorcycle and a couple of loose blocks. It was in a large lot of Duplos that I had picked up. I've still got some to get through. I'm not doing as well as my one touch stuff, but it's almost all vehicles and I'm going to have to figure out how to do them. Um, but I did sort this other lot out and took out any of the specialty stuff. And this was just one of them, $17.95. Arch books. We picked this up um, a couple of months ago at a church sale. I want to say they it was like a quarter a book, but they ended up charging me $5 for all of them. Um, it was a lot of 37 arch books. Um, they are like for Sunday school classes. I've done really well with them. So anytime you see them, especially in lots, you know, if you can get them pretty cheap, definitely pick them up. Um, I listed these in November and I took a best offer of $50 for them. Dinosaur Train. This was a Ben's pickup um, that I shared in a recent haul. I also found a bunch of the dinosaurs, which I just sold them for more than this. Um, but these were the trains. I did add the conductor to this lot. Um, there's two different types of these trains. There's one that just lights up and makes sounds. There's another one that actually has traction, you know, and, and goes, it pulls. This one wasn't it. Um, these sold in less than a month for $44.95. Converse Chuck Taylor. I think I picked these up for me at a yard sale and then I didn't think they were very comfortable. Not at all. So I went ahead and listed them and they sold for $20. Raz Buddy Dr. Brown's plush. Um, these actually come with like a little pacifier attached to the front. I almost always will take them off. Um, I just, I don't sell bottles with used nipples and I don't sell plush with used pacifiers. Um, these sold for $11.66. Talbot's Women's Pullover Sweater. Um, sold for a best offer of $13. You know, they had, it had some wear to it. So, sold very quickly though. More of the Barbie doll stuff. And y'all, I just went through that bag that I picked up at the kids consignment sale. Y'all, it was full of pieces and parts to the vintage pool and patio. It took me several hours and I wished I had had the foresight to, um, record going through it um, and sorting everything out and deciding how I was going to do it, but I didn't. You know, I was just trying to get through it, get them processed. Um, I have just started listing some of it this morning, actually just one piece, the first piece out of it, but I made tons and tons of lots, but a lot of it was that amazing find. The whole set, I noticed somebody had sold like it wasn't complete, I don't think, but it was mostly complete and it was for over a hundred dollars, but I think I'll do much better selling it out piece by, well, small lots by small lots. So that's how I chose to do it. I'm going to do that. Google Lens is your friend. A lot of the Barbie stuff had a code on the back or on the pieces. And if you put, if you Googled like Mattel and those first four digits, it would tell you what set it went to. And then it was just a matter of going back into eBay and, you know, putting that in also with whatever it went to. And you could pretty much find everything that you needed. The funny thing is, is I'm realizing as I'm going through my profit piles, because some of this stuff has been here for years, that, you know, resellers are lucky with Google Lens because a lot of the stuff that's in these totes and stuff that I just 
quit dealing with was because I couldn't identify it. And now that I've got Google Lens, it's helping with a majority of it. So definitely learn Google Lens um, because it, it's another world now that, you know, you've got that to help you identify stuff. But this was, I think, for the previous Barbie lot. Um, it was just an ice chest and it did end up having a couple of these little accessories to it. Sold very quickly, $8.51. Bread and butter, bread and butter. This too was sitting on a shelf. I think it was maybe in a box lot of other kitchen type stuff or like a uh, one of those food processor type things. And there was a little code on it that said who it was. It was that M-E-H-E-U-C-K. And when I looked that up, it's a very good brand to be looking for. This was just a metal vegetable slicer, sold very quickly for $13.50. Fisher Price Dream Doll House. Um, most people are familiar with the Loving Family stuff. It's different colors. Um, a lot of the Dream stuff was from like the 90s to 99, and a lot of it was these kind of muted colors, pinks and blues. And I still do, I love finding them, but I don't find them very often. And a lot of times I do sell them individually because somebody um, is just trying to complete a set or, you know, find a missing piece. This one, mom sold for $7.75. Circo, which is Target. This is a golden retriever dog plush from 2009, sold for $22.45. Russ Cosgrove Yellow Bear Plush, $8.05. Y'all, I'm almost finished with the main eBay inventory room. I mean, doing my inventory on that main room that I showed you guys in the video. I've got like one shelf and part of a shelf to finish in there. And then I've got the new side, which I've not been putting new inventory in there. So it's going to be very easy to get through it because a lot of the baskets don't have very much in them. But I'm realizing I have way too many bears, way too many bears, and a lot of old bears because I love the vintage stuff. I've got to tell myself no, but I love the Russ, the Dakin, the Applause, um, Fordlet, just there's so many brands, but I have too many. They're sitting, and I can't be a listed and forget it person, so I think I'm, my new strategy is anytime I have a watcher, I'm going to start sending out really large um, discounted offers to them to try to move out some of the old inventory. So I have room for new stuff because I'm always getting new stuff. But at some point, you're going to run out of space. But I am going to have to be better about checking comps and sell-through rates and stop picking up just because I love it. But it's going to make me sad. Carter's Monkey Rattle Plush. Um, there's several that look similar. So make sure when you're doing comps that, you know, you have the, the particular face sitting a particular way type thing, because there is a difference. Um, this one sold um, very quickly, $13.45. Just to remind some of my new viewers, a lot of this stuff is from the bins. Um, I had somebody ask, you know, why don't I tell you how much I spent for stuff? because I buy a lot at one time. It's $1.89 a pound at the one that we've been going to for the last two years. And, you know, it's just, it's based on weight. So something like this probably would have been about maybe 40 cents. It might be a quarter pound, 50 cents. Um, so, I, I, you know, I buy stuff very cheap, very cheap. Another viewer sell, so thank you again, Sherry. Sherry bought this Nat and Jules monkey rattle, an Aurora cowgirl monkey, and this monkey lovey, $26.86. I think she bought another thing, and I think the screen might have got closed because I had a little bit of technical issues, but I don't remember it popping back up. So thanks, Sherry, very much. Russ Cole Snowman. 21 inch, um, been listed a long time, but it ended up selling at my 
sale price for $15.25. Pyrex glass percolator. Oh, I sold, I think I'm down to one piece left and it's the bottom glass basket, not the bas glass, but the metal basket on the bottom of the glass cup thingy. Um, this was the lid and it sold for $11.66. If you ever find these percolators, make sure as long as they're like, I, I paid $10 for this one. Um, but I sold just the glass stem for $45. So everything else has just been pure, pure profit too. I'm finding tons of small appliances, um, that I haven't gotten to. Um, I've found a box that had parts to the juice man. This was just the little plunger sold very quickly, $13.45. We love our small appliances and we part them out. Hear that? These are coming back to me. These were some light covers for string lights, pink flamingo and palm trees. I don't normally sell the string lights with them unless I can't get these off, but I just figure you might as well get a new set and add these to them. But this buyer thought that they were getting string lights. Nowhere in the pictures do you see the lights, um, but they're coming back to me and they're going on my block list because read, read, read and look at the pictures. There are no, it says in the title, light covers. So homeschool curriculum. Pretty sure this was something that we had and it sold very quickly because I'm still finding stuff to list. $15. It is a Fundamentals of Literature by Bob Jones University. PJ Masks. I had a tote full of these and I just parted it out. I did the figures, um, the vehicles, and then this was a tower totem playset, and it sold after I actually finally got it listed very quickly, $17.95. Uh-oh, my little uh, red writing up there moved. This was a LuLaRoe leaf jacket, and it sold for a best offer of $13. Dim Daco. Um, this said it was a best big bro dog. Maybe it had a shirt or something. I must have got that off the tag. Let's look since I can. Oh yeah, right there. Best big bro. Um, plush, been listed for a very long time. Sold for $9.86. I think this was Russ, but this was one of those times, and I don't do it very often. I put a question mark because I found others that looked kind of sort of similar, but I wasn't for sure. Um, but it was just a cute little four inch plush and it sold in like three months for $16 and 16 cents. All right. Garanimals pink hippo plush off that brand. There's the elephants, the bears, there's loveys. There's just all kinds of different ones. Um, this was the six inch plush and it sold for $17.95. Levi's 514 men's jeans um, sold for $15. Make sure with Levi's that if you're in the international program, you go down to the excluded, um, the excluded locations and make sure you don't have the European Union because you'll get a Vero even if you know you're letting eBay deal with the international shipping. Um, you'll get a Vero because Levi's cannot be shipped. Used Levi's, I, I don't know if it's new Levi's, but used ones um, can't be shipped to the European Union. I just go ahead and block all countries. I'm not going to deal with them changing rules or anything and me having to go in and figure out all of that. Um, I just block all countries and then it, there's no chance for it to be shipped elsewhere. All right. Kmart tan and brown dog plush. Again, I don't think I had a manufacturer on this one. Oh yeah, I did. Wait, what does it say? No, no manufacturer makes it harder to sell when you don't have manufacturer. It's been listed for quite a while. Makes me wonder if maybe if I had Google Insta it after the fact that I could have figured out who made it. 
but it sold for $12.20. C.E. Schmidt workwear men's jacket sold in less than a month for full asking price, $39.68. Applause. Love that brand. Just love it. This bear was named Macintosh and he sold for $18.68. Now this is one of those things. I know I've had this in a pile for years because I couldn't figure out who it was. Come to find out it's Jeremy Nowhere from the Yellow Submarine Beatles movie. I remember watching that, but I don't remember this. Um, and listed it, sold in less than a month for $8.96. And it did have some condition issues. Kohl's. I like that brand. I pick up most of it as long as it's clean and in good condition. $8.06. String lights. Again, these. I just had the box. Everything good to go. I left everything the way it was. Sold for $14.36. All right, y'all. Not as many sales, but I'm still happy with um, how my week went. Plus, I was on vacation. Nothing can beat going on vacation and still making sales um, and, you know, still making a living while you're on vacation. That's that's the fun of being a reseller because you can sell stuff all day, all night. All right. I've got a couple of videos to make. Um, I'm, I'm behind, so I'm going to try to make several today. All right. Time to get to work. Bye.